Mm-mm. Listen to that crunch. That's my apple butter whiskey chicken sandwich with the barbecue sauce in it. And it ain't from Eddie First Street Deli. Killing it. It's player. Let's go. First, you got your chicken breast. You make sure you wipe it off. Then you got all your seasonings. You got your garlic powder, your onion powder, your salt, your pepper, and your paprika. That's it. You don't need nothing else. Make sure you get the seasoning in every single crack of that breast. And that's what I meant. What I said, every single crack of that breast, because it matters. That seasoning going to sit, and you make sure. You see how that look? That's how yours should look. Then it's time to add some pickle juice. The pickle juice is going to keep it juicy and it's going to give it a crunch out of this world. Then the buttermilk is going to make it even softer. Get those seasonings and start marrying it together. You want to cover this up and you want to put it up for a good 30 minutes to an hour. Make sure when you wrapping it, you wrap it real tight. You use some plastic wrap. I don't care what kind of bowl you got it in. You make sure you wrap it real tight because it matters. You see how that juice sitting in there with that milk? It's starting to marinate and marry each other. Make sure you keep it simple in these streets and cover it right. Now it's time to make the sauce. Yes, I said the sauce. This is where that apple butter whiskey come into play. After you put in that tomato juice, you add your little brown sugar for the sugar. You know what I'm saying? Then you put your little salt in there because you just need just a tad. And definitely the recipe is in details. In the details, make sure you check that out. And follow and subscribe while I got the time to say that. Throw in your little garlic. You mix it on up because that's the base of your barbecue sauce. Then... You want to just start to mix it because now you want to get all these seasonings that you just put in into this ketchup and start creating your barbecue mixture. And so the base becomes the ketchup, the garlic, the seasonings that you put in here. But you can see you still are caramelizing that brown sugar and it's coming, mixing down with the garlic and all those flavors are coming together and they're looking good. You can see the color changing in the barbecue sauce as well as you can see the garlic coming through, right? Then you want to take your spatula and you want to start getting out all of any lumps of the brown sugar that you have left in the mixture because again, you want this to be a barbecue sauce and I'm definitely going to um, make sure I sift it through and just have the sauce. There's not going to be any garlic lumps in there. So don't even worry about that at this moment. Now it's time to add that Worcestershire sauce. You know what I'm saying? That Worcestershire sauce brings that boldness to the taste. It also changes the color of your barbecue sauce. You can add as little or as more as you want. Of course, all the directions to this recipe is in the description. Make sure you check that out and all the details, all the links to get to all my social media as well. Make sure you follow and subscribe again because I need you to continue to bring out more cool material to know what you guys want. So now it's time to add that apple butter whiskey to the mix. Check it out how it changes the whole texture and the color of this beautiful and amazing barbecue sauce that's going on this chicken. Yes, you add an ounce and a half or one shot and a half of actual apple butter whiskey. Now you want to make the batter for the chicken breast so it can be even crunchier. You put the seasonings that you had from the original mixture, so it's the same onion, powder, garlic, paprika, salt and pepper. You mix that with the flour real good because you want seasoning in your batter. Then you take your chicken that's been marinating for about an hour and a half or two hours, maybe four, I don't know, the more you marinate it, the better. It gets juicier and it gets softer. So you want to put it in that flour. You want to make sure you base it good. Throw it in the liquid. The same pickle juice and buttermilk that you had just had that you marinated in. Keep that. Don't use nothing else. And you want to toss that around. Then you want to take it and put it back in the flour because you be double dipping up in this hoe. What? <laughs> At least I do. I don't know about you. I do though. So you want to make sure, again, that you put the flour on all sizes and all the crevices because this is what's going to make sure that you got that crunch that you want. And I mean, that crunch is going to be fantastic. You heard it. So after you put your crunch together and you get all the sides of your flowers, uh, you know, good coat, you put it up for a good 15 minutes to 45 minutes to make sure it sits right. Then you throw it in the fryer, the deep fryer, or a pot with some hot, nice peanut oil. Peanut oil definitely puts the best crisp on anything, so you can use any other oil that you feel you want to use, but peanut oil do the best. 
Because see, as I bring this up, look at there. You see how golden, crispy, brown that is. It don't get no better than that. Stop playing with me. Now you want to let it rest. And while you letting that rest, it's time to do what? Throw that butter in the pot. Throw that butter in the pot. Why you throw it in the pot? Why you throw it in the pot? <laughs> Y'all, don't fool with me. You know how I do. You got to make sure you toast that bread. That's what you throw it in the pot for. Because now it's time to make sure that bun is toasty on that bread. So what you do is you get a brioche bun. And you throw that butter in the pot. And then you take both buns and you slap them in a pot face down the bottom and the top and you let it sit in there for a good three to five minutes you know on medium low because you want a nice toast you see how they look yeah you want it like that even toasty if you like you know what i'm saying it's up to you then you want to gently put that bird on that bread <laughs> you heard me put that bird on that bread oh did i just slap this is some food porn for real then i damn slap another pickle on there Oh, yes, I did. Y'all stop playing with me. I have, oh, good Lord. Wait a minute. Get wet. Yes. Oh, get wet. Wait a minute. Yes. Is that that apple butter whiskey barbecue sauce going on that sandwich? Oh, yes, it is. Look at that color. Look at that cherry red color. Yes, Lord. Go ahead. Throw it down. Mm, yes. Wipe me down. Oh, good Lord of Jesus. When I tell you. It was just the right consistency, and it fell over every crunch. Ooh, and that's why you put all the, the, the flour on the bread so it can be crunchy and have all the crevices. And then you take the sauce, and the sauce just goes in every crack and crevice. And when you take that first bite, baby, mm, stop playing with me. So now, chicken breasts, you know what I'm saying, pretty nice and all of that. We got to damn close this shit up because y'all, y'all finna ooh, do too much for you even eat it. Now it's time to slap that bun on it, baby. Push it down. Get your sandwich right. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm out because it's time, you know, girl, ooh, wait a minute. Check that out. Look at that. We do a 360 right quick. I'm sorry. We got to do the 360 right quick. Yes, sir. All sides of that baby is banging. I promise you. You ain't. Mm. 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 